Pharmacy Federation. So for today's presentation, uh, today is a research category. So for today's presentation, I'm happy to introduce uh, Dr. Uh, Thakur uh, Gurjit Singh, Associate Dean from Chitarkara University, Punjab. Ms. Rituraj Gaur, Principal Aishwarya College of Pharmacy, Rajasthan. And Dr. B. Wilson, Dayananda Sagar University, Bangalore. So we we'll welcome you all. So over to Chavi to continue. Good evening to all the evaluators and thank you, Dr. Kaisarjan, for starting the uh, the, con the poster presentation for seven day and all the participants. So I would request all the participants and evaluators to switch on their camera when they are speaking and a good internet connection connectivity. If you're not having a good internet connection, then you will be given a chance at the end. Okay, so 433, poster number 433, you can go ahead. Uh, madam, sorry for the interruption. My poster number is 432, madam. 432 poster is present, Ramesh, sir. I'm an audible man. Yeah, you're audible. Just turn on your wave cam. Can I go ahead, sir? Yeah, turn on your yes, wave sir. cam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So just a minute. Yeah. Sir, uh, can you see me, sir? Mm, no. Sir, now. Mm, not it. You can start the presentation meeting. Yes, sir, sure. Uh, good afternoon to one and all. Uh, this is uh, B. Aparna presenting the my poster uh, for uh, PharmaNest 21. I'm very glad uh, for the acceptance of the poster. Uh, so uh, my uh, title is uh, uh, Docking and Admit Screening and Binding Free Energy Calculation of some novel thiazine substituted 9 endinoacridines as estrogen receptor inhibitors targeting breast cancer. So I'm doing uh, my... Uh, I'm a research scholar from JSS College of Pharmacy. Uh, coming to the uh, title and introduction, uh, I'm basically concentrating on the cancer, especially breast cancer. So cancer is a group of diseases involving abnormal cell growth with the, with the potential to invade or spread to other parts of the body. This is already well known to each and every one. And especially the breast cancer. The breast cancer is one of the malignant tumors which mainly affect the female population. 20% uh, of the cases in breast cancer is due to overexpression uh, of estrogen receptor alpha. In general, 9 linoacridines, uh, the derivatives, uh, play an um, important role for anti-tumor due to their DNA intercalating properties. And uh, coming to the uh, uh, causes for the breast cancer, uh, the main, it involves a personal history, genetical or uh, radiation exposure, or uh, due to obesity and uh, the main cancer uh, the cancerous cells uh, involving the breast cancer are the tissue glandular cells uh, called the lobules and uh, comparative with the worldwide uh, up to 1.7 million cases have been diagnosed up till now and especially in india it is about 14 percent of the cases have been diagnosed when compared with the other cancers so today uh, one in every 28 women are in the risk so coming to the so, uh, so that's why I have taken the topic for the breast cancer, uh, uh, which uh, have concentrated on the estrogen receptor. Uh, the estrogen receptors are of two types: the estrogen receptor alpha and also the estrogen receptor beta. But the uh, especially the cancerous cells affect on the uh, estrogen receptor alpha. So here we have gone out for the docking and admit screening binding free energy calculations. For this, the materials and methods used are the estrogen receptors. So here I have taken the protein data bank ID that is 2 IOG which is having 1.60 angstroms was retrieved and prepared by the protein preparation wizard of the EPIC module and the ligands are presented and subject to the liquid module. So this is a thing we have taken from the Schrodinger uh, um, 
from this from the Storinger, we have uh, uh, taken this leg break module. The docking studies are performed by the glide module. Uh, the in silico admit screening was performed by the quick crop module. And binding energy of ligands were calculated using the prime MMGBSA module of the Storinger suit 2019. Uh, 19, and the ligands were docked into the receptor and the interactions were scored. Uh, sir, uh, my screen is not visible, sir. My poster is not visible. Just wait. Sir, we you share the screen. The message is connected. Let me know when your poster is visible. Is it visible yes, to you now? Okay. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Uh, so here by the Schrodinger suit and the ligands were docked into the receptor and the interactions were scored using the glide docking program using XP mode and OPLS3 force field. Here the OPLS3 force field is used for the minimization of energies. Here we can see the ligand interaction of the main molecule that is uh, 1V with the protein uh, PDB ID of 2 IOG and the hydro. Uh, hydrophilic and hydrophobic map of 1B, the main compound or the potent compound with 2 IOG. How we how we can decide the potent compound that is 1V is here we can compare with the docking studies that is of the thiazine substituted molecule. Here you can see the thiazine substituted uh, derivatives. So uh, the compound which is having a more glide score compared with the a standard compound we can conclude that the compound is more potent as we already know the standard compound for the breast cancer is tamoxifen and when the thiazine derivatives have been taken the ledacrine is a standard compound so the ledacrine is having a glide score of minus 7.93 and tamoxifen is having minus 11.58 so compared with these standard compounds the compounds which have gone out for the uh, Schrodinger suit, the compounds 1B, 1X, 1M, 1P uh, accordingly are having a good glide scores. And 1B is a compound which is having a good glide score of minus 12.64. And lipophilic uh, compound, uh, lipophilic uh, uh, calculation is of minus 8.38 and hydrogen bond is minus 0 0.7. So when we are taking further <clears throat> Schrodinger suit, the we first we will concentrate on the glide score. The 1V compound is having a good glide score, which is having minus 12.64. So the thiazine substituted 9 linoacridine, such as 1V to 1F, are significantly binding with the active site of the estrogen receptor alpha, targeted with the significant glide score when compared with the standard drugs that is ledacrine or tamoxifen for the breast cancer, like uh, for the breast cancer. The docking results of all compounds exhibit similar mode of interaction with the ER receptor <coughs> alpha with the residues that is methionine 343 and leucine 539 which plays a crucial role in binding. The admit properties are within the recommended value and values of MMG GBSA are significant to show the stability of the binding pores of the ligand with the protein. So, comparative with all the with all the compounds, the compound 1V is having a good client score of minus 12.64. So, this compound is further gone out for the synthetic studies uh, according to the literature which I have uh, seen. So, finally, the conclusion is the compounds which are very active or significantly active and again as the alpha receptor to alpha uh, is a estrogen receptor alpha targeting breast cancer and are used for the further development thank you so i will request evaluators to proceed with the questions what are your molecular dynamics with respect to your compounds sir please pardon sir you have conducted the molecular dynamic study of your compounds Yes, sir. Uh, uh, the molecular dynamic study for the 1B have been uh, 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 studied and uh, it is having a uh, below 100 nanometers. Uh, the We have collected that it as a below 100 nanometers, sir, nanoseconds. Okay. And you have conducted some preclinical studies or you have just only done these uh, docking studies only? Or the docking studies have been uh, done, sir, and we are going for first the synthetic studies and then we are going for the uh, clinical studies, sir, especially for the breast cancer that is by the NCF. Oh. I have... Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Sir, Wilson, uh, yes, sir. your voice is very low. 
Yes. Still, uh, it is low. Yes. Yes. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Ah, now it's okay. So I just want to clarify one thing. So how do you correlate this study with the in vitro cytotoxicity studies? Say especially that the estrogen receptor positive cell lines when you use those. So how do you correlate this with that in vitro cytotoxicity studies? Sir, uh, we have compared with the, some of the uh, drugs like uh, uh, atezolizumab and tamoxifen citrate, sir. So when we come, uh, so what is the clinical efficacy we have been compared with the standard drugs, sir. Uh, apart from the tamoxifen citrate, we have, uh, we are also going to compare with the uh, clinical efficacy with the atezolizumab, with the, which are some of the standard drugs. How about the pharmacokinetic profile of the drug by using this doctor study? Can you predict anything? Uh, sir, uh, we are in the synthetic uh, module as of now, so I will. Uh, I would like to go for the further investigation later, sir. Okay. So he what is the about any atmosphere screening? Sir, please pardon. Yes. Okay. okay. How about the, the atmosphere properties? Yeah, that's what I asked. ADM, ADMK, ADMK. Sir, please pardon, sir. The voice have been interrupting. The admit properties. Admit study. Sir, uh, yes, sir. Means, so can you predict anything like ADMK, absorption distribution metabolism, the profile of the synthesized compound? That is what I asked. Sir, uh, like uh, lipophilic uh, hybrid value and hydrogen bond and some of the elimination studies have, have also been uh, compared with the standard drugs, sir. Okay. So how about the uh, binding of drug receptors? Binding sir, we are going to come, uh, we are going, we have been calculated with the MMGBS studies, sir, that is molecular uh, mechanic uh, gliding based okay. studies. Okay. Okay, fine. Thank you, ma'am, is having some technical.